Now, we're joined by vet Joe Inglis, who's here to tell us about the latest warnings on ticks and to offer his advice on protecting our pets in the warmer months ahead. Morning, Joe. There's a lot Morning. to get through, so let's yes. start, first of all. According to the PDSA, the number of ticks estimated to have increased by 17% over the last 10 years. Yes, I mean, there's definitely been an increase. You know, I've noticed that, and I see that the stats from the PDSA back that up. And it's, it's not just that we're seeing more of the normal ticks we've seen. We've also seen some new species of ticks coming in from Europe, um, which can carry some diseases which we've never seen in this country before. So yeah. Lyme disease has always been around, um, but that's becoming more, more common, unfortunately, and that can be very serious. Um, but there's another disease... Um, babesiosis, which we don't get in this country, and we've seen the first few cases of that very recently. Oh, actually. gosh, really? And that's a really nasty disease. It causes anemia, can, can be fatal. So, so you know, it's, it's definitely something pet owners... How do they get them, and how do you get them off? So ticks, um, they, they tend to be in the long grass. Um, they, 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 uh, when animals pass by, they clamber onto the animal, and they can't jump or fly, but they, as they, they sense Scrap. the animals come past and they get on. So it's long, damp grass. It tends to be the main um, place. But you can also get them from areas where you get foxes and hedgehogs, so urban pets can get them as well. Um, so the most important thing, really, is prevention, and that's checking your pets after they've been for a walk, especially if you're in those areas with a tick problem have a really good look over them. They can be very hard to spot when they're not engorged with blood. Because they're quite little. They're very small. Check between their pads. Um, you know, they tend to ad attach themselves underneath the pets, around uh, the neck and sort of anywhere, Areas really. you but might not necessarily You see. might not notice them. So, you know, if you yeah. spot them, they need dealing with... Because... How do you get rid of them? Because there's good ways and bad ways. Yes, I mean, there used to be a lot of um, the advice that actually, you know, you could burn them off or put Vaseline on, but you should never do that. The best thing to use um, is a tick hook, and we've got one here. Um, and this is a little plastic thing, you can get them very cheaply. Um, and they just slide under the body of the, the tick and lift it off safely because Ugh. if you just pull them off, um, then they tend to leave... What do you leave... do with it once you've got rid of it? Yes, just, uh, I was hoping you wouldn't ask that, but oh, sorry. just kind of dispose of them in some way. But you, well, you want to squish them, really. You, uh, you want to squish them, really, because they you, can you, otherwise you attach let, to If you let to them another... go, then yeah. they're just going to... Attach to people else. or other things. So, yeah, don't just pull them off, because you can leave the head parts behind, which can become infected. Um, so oh, don't do that. Oh, gosh, that's horrible, but isn't it? Same, it is. I suppose, so same if they come up, you get them on yourself. Yeah, exactly. I mean, people can get Lyme disease, so, you know, it's a problem for people as well but um you know it, we don't want to overstate it i mean lyme no. disease is still pretty rare but um, you've just got to take precautions yeah. and just worth saying also a lot of flea treatments you can get now do protect against ticks so ah. it's worth keeping your, your pets oh, up to good. date with those 